level by level gamer and this is going to be a quick video on my retro pi built on the raspberry pi 3b plus that i picked up a few months ago when they first come out um, i bought that thing i didn't really know what i wanted to do with it i uh, knew it had potential and wanted to get one i did an unboxing on it uh, played around with it a little bit and then didn't really touch it after that so if you remember a few videos back we did a Comic-Con here locally, and um, on a whim, building up for that thing, I decided that I wanted to do a bar top or a mini arcade build based on that Raspberry Pi. So uh, this literally had to get put together overnight once I got my buttons in, my joysticks, and I had pretty much everything else I needed. Uh, I bought some paneling here at the hardware store and this wood the all the framing is reclaim the screen is an old xerox computer screen um, inside of here i have computer computer speakers that i tore apart and made into my internal speakers um, i don't even have <laughs> I didn't have time to even cut out or like put like the circular hole pattern through this paneling or even cut it out and like mount the original face plate for the speakers on here. They're in there, you can hear them, but I still have to make some kind of arrangement for the sound to come out. So the speakers are in there. Um, this lit marquee here, this is parts from a fish tank hood, the plastic housing, uh, the fluorescent part of the light didn't work, so I tore all that out, used the switch, the wiring, and the shell from the fish tank hood, installed some separate soft white lights in there. Um, this is plexiglass that was spray frosted. I read a guy online that said that you could sand it uh, to make make give it that frosted look but sanding it would just really would have took too long didn't have very long to build this thing so let's just quickly go around to the back of it here um, I didn't paint this the this back was facing the crowd so you can see I really wasn't too concerned about it I have the shell coming out the back here from that fish tank hood because I wanted these vents to let the heat, it doesn't create a whole lot of heat, uh, but I wanted it to get some air through that marquee considering I don't have fluorescent or something like a cool light. Uh, I left the switch accessible here so I can cut my marquee on and off. This is super roughed in. You have my, I moved the computer speaker board out to where I can get to the various bass and sound knobs here. The microphone and line out lines here. And you can see this little, little LED light is still here. I'm going to put a plate. I'm going to drill out everything where it looks nice and put some kind of plate around this to make that a lot nicer and paint the back here. But like I said, this literally had to get put together really quickly. Um, I would have went with a black cord here, but this is what I had laying around. And I wired up everything inside. Uh, didn't even really do any videos, so I'm sorry about that. It just really had to come together really quickly for the show. Now, this thing is super blank. <laughs> uh, about as close as I got to doing any kind of logos or anything that matches level by level gaming is my black and white theme that matches uh, my brand so there you go that is just a quick walk around of my mini arcade or my bar top here I'm going to shut the video off just for a second uh, situate myself and show myself playing this thing so um, if you're familiar with Raspberry Pi or the Retro Pi emulation station here. This shouldn't be anything new to you guys. Uh, you have your menu here where you could work on your audio, uh, Bluetooth, all that stuff. Um, the thing that I really needed to go in here first thing and do was set up a Wi-Fi so I could start 
connecting it to my network and sending games and stuff from my computer to this. Um, I only put a few on here, uh, a small selection, just to get through, like I said, the show. Um, I've got a lot more I really want to do with this. Uh, I feel like MAME, uh, all the Ataris, all those would do really well because of the arcade style deal with the joystick and the buttons. But surprisingly, a lot of these games, even though they're not native to this scheme, they actually play pretty well on a arcade style setup. I just did the six button here. My button kit actually came with two more buttons that I could actually fill in here. Maybe one here and one here or maybe continue them out if I wanted to add more buttons. But for what I was doing, six was perfectly fine. Uh, that covered for on the, on the Super Nintendo scheme. I was able to do the four buttons and the two shoulder buttons and then the start select. So um, let's just go into some stuff here. Pretty much everything that's on Atari 2600 translates really well. I still want to put some uh, 52 and uh, 7800 uh, games on here, but let's see here. Oh. Hope that's not too loud. You guys can't hear me over it. But as you can see, um, this actually translates pretty well. With this setup, I got it set up to do the start select and kick everything back. Um, let me step around back here and cut this volume down just a bit. That way you guys can hear me. All right, so let's check out some Nintendo. These were actually really, this was actually a really big hit at the show. People loved playing Mario with the joystick. Um, it definitely takes some, some getting used to, or some Mike Tyson's punch out. Let's just go with that one. Oop, hit the wrong button. And those speakers are almost completely down uh, there and they were about halfway up when I turn them all the way up even though I haven't got anything cut out here for the sound to come out it's really loud so this game actually uh, when I was just playing around with this retro pie build translates really good to these controls um, it's like it you know you get so used to playing Nintendo games on the little square controller and I had no problem getting right into what I needed to do with Mike Tyson's punch out. I mean, he, he responds. If I can get this guy to punch. Come on, punch. So I'm not gonna sit here and play this game for long, but as you can see, I mean, he does what I want him to do. So, uh, that game was really fun to play on this arcade. So, so was Mario. People went through Nintendo here, and I think they forgot all about what it was like playing on this because it really just fell in naturally. Um, oh. Let's go. Let's look at one more thing here, and I'm going to cut this video short. Uh, I'm not going to go through every one of the systems. They all play pretty well, even the Sega here. Uh, you have your three buttons, your, your three buttons set up that work just fine. Neo Geo, I really enjoy Neo Geo. I'd have to get some some uh, CPS one and two on here, some main to really make one of these things shine. But Neo Geo just goes so well with this setup. Um, I'm just going to go with one of the first shooters here. Let's just go with area fighters. And something else that was very interesting is I've taken this with me a couple places. Uh, some friends of ours had a big get together. Uh, we took it over there. It was a hit with all the adults our age. Um, 
everybody that's in their 30s and 40s just love this thing especially going back to the atari and took it to another thing that had a bunch of young kids and teenagers and two girls got on this thing and just had a blast and they had never played any of these games they had never played anything like this and they were just fascinated with with an arcade machine um, something that was pretty common to us something that we used to go and spend all of our quarters on was just foreign to them and they they loved it didn't they mm -hmm. so my, my lovely wife is filming so she uh, she was there she can attest these kids were just fascinated with this thing and I think they played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles they Mario 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 um, seems to be the big hit they played this I showed them these type of games um, and they just had a blast so anyways this is where this thing shines it's just so much fun it takes it out of just the realm of your uh, Xbox 360 controller which a lot of these builds end up using um, I still have access underneath the edge here uh, I'll flip this thing up another time when I if I take this thing apart and show you guys the internals of it I can flip this up I can get access everything I can actually have my cords for a keyboard to do to go in here and work on things a mouse if I need to I have access for um, controllers game controllers if I want to all under here plus I have a way for air to flow underneath this edge here and into the machine so that's it uh, hope you guys enjoyed it if you like these videos if you like my channel if you haven't done so please hit the like button subscribe and we will see you on the next one